Shalom, shalom. We send you heartfelt greetings from Uganda for this Christmas season. <clears throat> and let me tell you a few thoughts that the Lord gave me for this season. Uh, first of all, we remember the birth of the Lion of Judah, Jesus Christ. And the chief message was the arrival of God's kingdom to the world. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords of this universe, became a child and entered our hum humanity. And secondly, he came to transfer the holy temple of God from a building to the hearts of humanity. God doesn't want to be locked up in churches. He wants to be locked up in your heart. He wants to be in your heart and rule and reign and live through you because Christ in you is the hope of glory. And then Jesus' life, his ministry, his death, his resurrection, they bear witness to the reality and power of the indwelling life once a believer becomes saved. So dear ones, uh, you know, we, we appreciate all those that pray for us, that stand with us, that, that support us with finances, with prayers. We really know that we are a body working together and without you, we could never do what we are doing in Uganda. So we really treasure you and we pray for you that you are all hidden in a bubble of grace, in a bubble of protection that the enemy cannot touch you because no weapon that's formed against you and us will prosper, will be able to damage anything. So dear ones, we have, we think we have the first Christmas in lockdown. Uh-uh, nothing new. 2,000 years ago, the doors were locked. Mary and Joseph had to deliver in a stable. And soon after that, they were refugees. Nothing they were spared from. And who came to worship the King of Kings, the shepherds, the least in society? And there came the wise men from the East, without visas, without permission, without vaccination. They followed the star. Uh, and so, dear ones, let us come and worship the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. And let us receive him into our hearts because this is where he wants to be. He wants to live through you and me. He never wanted to be locked up in buildings. You know, that was a, such a revelation to me that I don't need to go to a church to meet Christ. Christ in me is the hope of glory. And I just need to be in permanent touch with him. So dear ones, I also want to do that. Do that. Give Jesus room in your life. Say, Lord, with me you can do what you want, where you want, how you want, when you want. can reduce me to zero. But glorify your name. Make me a blessing and give me joy that the world cannot take and cannot give. Yeah, so, you know, but I want to tell you a little bit what the Lord could accomplish in Vision for Africa through the support of thousands of people from Europe. Thank you, thank you. And also support of our wonderful staff because without my almost over thousand staff, we could never do what we are doing in Uganda. So, dear ones, we could finish, we could almost finish the primary school in the north. We, they are raising up the, the, the walls on the second floor today. Uh, they start uh, uh, today and uh, it, the school will be finished in April for 700 very poor children. Then the clinic on the prayer mountain will also be finished in April. Then in Nachifuma we could finish the huge community hall for, for, for uh, that holds 4,000 people. And we already had a celebration there for one week where they brought us 630 people, jobless people, that were ready to rebel from the streets of Kampala. And they stayed with us for a week. And the Lord gave us a ministry to them. And I would say 99% of them left with a changed life, with a changed heart, with a changed mind. And we want to continue with them. We want to see how we can give them training. And it's very, it's, it's exciting what God is doing. He's opening new doors, shocking you with 
expanding with, with expanding your territory. We need to be ready because we are entering into a new time. You know, we have prayed for 2,000 years. Thy, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. But we lived. I, myself, and me, Lord bless us three. God is changing that. He's changing our thinking. And dear ones, we want to give you as a present for this Christmas 40 messages on the kingdom of God. And you will see the YouTube channel in this message. So listen, every day we will teach you and show you. Uh, Pastor, uh, Pastor Daniel Exler from Germany came and we did 40 YouTubes. How to become kingdom citizens. Kingdom of God citizens with kingdom of God mindsets. And there needs to be some changes in you and in me because the King of Kings is now taking over this world. After we are through what we are in right now, but I promise you it will come to an end. Because Jesus says that for those that trust him, that believe him, all things will work together for good. I do trust that we have a harvest for, for the kingdom of God ahead of us that the world has never seen. And this is what gives me hope every day, to trust the Lord and to cancel all the strategies of the enemy that he has planned because Jesus will win this battle. Believe me, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, has the last word. And so we greet you, we love you. And, and now I still want to give you a little foretaste for what is coming. You know, the Lord told me about two years ago that the time for, to choose a Joshua is not yet over. Uh, that uh, the whole ministry of vision for Africa will expand in all of Africa. And we see it coming. And then India is waiting, Israel and a big radio and, and television station. And everything has already started to materialize. And we believe that God has great plans for you, for us, to build the kingdom of God. But let our love not grow cold. Let us remain hot with Jesus Christ. And let us remain strong in our faith that no weapon that's formed against us shall prosper. We greet you, we love you, we pray for you, and we trust that you remain strong, keeping your eyes on Jesus, the initiator and finisher of our faith. We love you, we appreciate you. Shalom, shalom. Shalom.